basically just uh, go around here, start looking at the rocks and confirm that what you have here, your expectation is that they, all this part is covered by Dolomitic uh, system. Okay, we're trying to differentiate story from history. And the history comes out of what you see in the field and how you actually put that, you know, sequence of events together. Always yeah. look back. Don't stop before you ascertain that there's nothing about the fall in your hand. If you put those points where we're standing at on the map, you should be able to figure out exactly how many degrees upstream. It's an angle, very steep plane going slightly upstream. And that's what should show up in your maps. Any questions? So you can show people any amount of good examples of things, uh, pictures or, or actual physical examples of stuff in the lab, but there's no better way of, of learning than, uh, than going out and seeing them in the field, because it's always more complex when it's out in the field. And you eventually, after you see these things a lot and get some experience, you get your eye in, and then you can start recognizing fossils or recognizing uh, sedimentary structures. Uh, the lectures are very good, I know the staff well and they're uh, very, very encouraging um, of what we're doing. So, no, it's good. It's a hard, hard work, but um, it's kind of like, you know it's good for you. Do a few hikes up mountains, carrying bags of books so you can keep up with Paolo. Read what they give you and make sure you know how to do a strike column and a cross section and know what should be on an intert map. It really prepares you for what you need to do after you graduate.